Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at how we're going to iterate through an array using for loop. That's how it's shown here. So before we get into that, I'd like to thank all our subscribers for your continuous support. It really means a lot to us and you guys, you guys are just the best. So now let's go. Now we have a simple array here now. So what we will do, I will show you uh, a simple implementation of the for loop before we actually go and see how we're going to use it with an array. So what we do is we type for and then we give a variable. So in this case, I'm using i and I set it to zero first. And then again, we have to tell how many times we want to increment up to the limit we want to go to. And then how you want it to increment. So in this case, it's basically telling the for loop to increment every one. So we'll go from 0, 1, 2. Why it stops at 2 is because we start from 0, we go all the way until the number before 3, hence the symbol here. If I put lesser or equal to, then it knows it goes all the way to 3. So what we can do now, just put an echo here. Now what we can do, we can echo the i and we can add our a bit of HTML here to give some formatting. And as you can see, it goes from 0, 1, 2. So because we put from 0 and the limit at 3, it goes here. Now if I were to put equal, then I refresh, it goes all the way to 3 because we are telling to stop when it also equals to 3. If you don't put the equal sign, it's telling to stop just before that number. No, now we have um, this done already. We're gonna do it now with the array. Now with the array, it comes a bit different because here we have we know how many times we want to increment, but in an array, it can range from any number. It can range from one all the way up to hundred or maybe more. So what we do is to tell the array the for loop to loop based on the array we put a count and we put the array inside now what this does is basically it's going to count how many values are in the array and it's going to tell the loop okay i want you to loop until this many uh, value so let's display this so how we display is we put the array variable square brackets and your dollar i now your dollar i here will represent the index like what we see here 0 1 2 so it knows okay i'll go from 0 1 2 3 now let's refresh this okay so now you can see that it lists the array based on that so we have first one cat then dog chicken and then shark now let's say if i'm going to add one more variable here and say i'm going to put cow I refresh you see now automatically the array knows there's a new value and the loop has been notified through this method so like this you can use the for loop in uh, many many ways uh, based on dynamic number of uh, iterations or fixed number of iterations that you wish to use again it's totally up to you uh, and remember based on the project you're doing uh, you need to make sure that uh, the loop is being put into the correct use and be very very careful and make sure that this is here if not your loop will might go into uh, infinite loop and you might crash your server same thing for this you must set a limit if you don't set the limit it will just keep increasing now if i'm going to change this to let uh, greater than every iterations is always greater than so it'll never stop it'll keep going and going and going until the server crashes so be very very careful with your loops and make sure your arrays are well defined. And we've made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We'll see you guys in the next video. And you know what? You guys are awesome. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do so it, as it helps us tremendously. Thank you so much. See you guys in the next video. Bye.